I'm wearing this oatmeal sweater on top. It's got like a turtleneck design and super duper effing warm. And I picked up this plaid skirt. It has a knit material. It's in the size extra small. It has no stretch, unfortunately. and only has one zipper closure at the side. I wanted to like this so, so much. But unfortunately, it's just a little bit too big on me. I was on their site and they have like so, so many tights and leggings. And this is one of them that I got. Look, it is so opaque. Like, look, like my nails are freaking long and I'm digging into this. And it's not like, do you guys see this? Like, okay, I'm not trying to like rip it here, but I'm just showing you that the opaque ones are just so much more durable than the sheer ones. And unfortunately, only comes in one size. Like, I'm not too happy about that because on me, it's already like cutting off my circulation, I feel. So, so maybe you can cut it, you know? It's only like $4 or something. Modify it however you want. I know some of you are going to say that it's too cold, it's way too cold, it's winter here. So I thought of a genius trick because you're wearing a skirt, right? You can basically layer these long socks over your tights so you're wearing a thick tight to start with and then you're layering these socks on and these socks okay are like the longest thigh high socks i've seen because they're not actually thigh high they actually are like full length socks that go all the way up to your private area and over here you can see that like one leg i'm wearing socks and one leg i'm not wearing socks it's not that different but you do feel a lot warmer trust me on this and let's talk about this jacket you guys this jacket is like an army green color army <laughs> who's an army you get it <laughs> you know army is actually like fans of bts really yeah this one is like oh my god super duper 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 warm it's quilted from the inside really durable too the outer layer is like waterproof and like you know whatever the weather whether it's there's a removable fur hood and the fur hood is actually like one of the best looking ones that I've seen online. I wasn't expecting much from the fur hood because I thought it would come all like sad looking, but it's actually really poofy. There's pockets and there's a longer fit so it covers all the way down your butt. This is our next outfit. <laughs> Am I yelling? <laughs> How cute is this antler earmuffs? <gasps> I just have a basic long sleeve black top on and then I'm pairing it with this plaid skirt but it's also really loose on me. So you really need to size down when you're grabbing the skirt. And I switched tights so I'm going for these sheer but glittery tights. They have like star patterns on them. How cute! Oh my god and they're so stretchy too. This one is a lot more comfortable than the first pair. And I thought it was festive. Going with these thigh high boots here. If you saw my 16 thigh high boots review video, I'll be linking it down here. You will not be surprised because these ones are so, so comfortable. They're like one of my favorites out of all 16 and they're only like 30 something dollars, which is so affordable. I want to show you the star of this outfit and that is this massive, teddy coat when i say massive i mean it's really really long i am 5'7 for reference the entire coat is like a teddy material it's lined throughout it's even like quilted somehow because it is so thick and it's so warm i'm wearing the size extra small and this fits me so so well the next outfit i'm keeping that oatmeal sweater on and i'm pairing it with these pair of jeans it made my legs look so 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 long like i am so happy with these it just makes the top of your leg look really really skinny they're also really true to size next outfit features this really really comfortable and stretchy base piece like look at the stretch of this guy it's so stretchy and the turtleneck too is stretchy so you don't feel like it's getting caught on your head when you're trying to like pull it down and i'm just keeping the same skirt on from the first outfit i'm wearing this camel waterfall jacket over it so the front has a waterfall design and the entire coat has this black trim all around it making it look really really sophisticated i got this in a size small and it fits me really really well it's also super duper long but i would say that the thickness of this is not very thick so perfect for you in warmer winters or colder fall climate I just really think the design of this is so classic it's so timeless like it reminds me of like kind of like a Burberry trench coat or even like what you would buy at Zara for like $100 go with the skirt, I picked up this scarf from the men's section yeah, the men's section has some really awesome accessories too it's not too overbearing because it's not like a blanket scarf so you can just like drape it across your shoulder like this keeping the coat on, I'm just switching it up with this pair of pants on the next outfit and honestly, I love this pair of pants so much it's high-waisted, has an elastic around the waist and it also has pockets down the front here I think it's more of a leggings but it's very very well made and thick leggings and it's not 
like one of those like see-through ones that I've tried from Boohoo like a long time ago and this has a houndstooth pattern all over and I think it's great for work if you put a belt over it or if you just want that sleek sophisticated look and I'm wearing it in a size extra small and it fits me really well and the elastic definitely helps keeping things relatively monochrome I'm just pairing it with a semi transparent bag that has like a snake print pattern and gold trim details. Next outfit, we're just wearing a same oatmeal sweater on the top and I'm pairing it with this black leather skirt. This is not from Shein, but it's one of my favorite, favorite faux leather skirts to date, but it's from Topshop. Don't kill me for featuring this skirt. It's like one of my favorites. Pairing it with this houndstooth jacket. Oh my God. This houndstooth jacket is so, so well made. It's such good quality, like everything, even the stitching, like it's not falling apart. Everything is perfect about this houndstooth jacket. I got in a size small and it fits me really, really well. I think it's supposed to be in between a blazer and a coat or like a jacket, but it's like a really thick blazer and a really thick jacket. And I honestly think that every working professional should invest in this. Even if you're not a working professional and you want to look like really put together, really like you know what you're doing, you should grab these. The next outfit is kind of like 50 shades of gray or just five shades of gray. I'm wearing the same gray turtleneck from before and I'm just pairing it with this houndstooth skirt because your girl loves houndstooth. Anything houndstooth and it just makes me feel like <laughs> This skirt is a tweed pattern, so very Chanel-esque, very sophisticated looking, very luxurious looking. Um, this one is a size extra small that I got, but it still fits a little bit loose on me. It's not as bad as the first few skirts. You should definitely still size down for this skirt, and it's also perfect if you want to be tucking in your chunky sweaters. There's gold buttons down the middle here, and they are actually not that tightly sewn on, so like, look at this. It's kind of loose if you ask me, but when you buy the skirt, it does come with extra sets of buttons. So just in case one of these falls off, you can like sew it on back yourself. I'm going with this black and white coat because I feel like it matches the 50 shades of gray pattern really well here. And this is just like a super duper long coat that keeps you really, really warm. The material is a knit material, it's lined all the way throughout on the inside. So you get the extra layer and extra warm. It has pockets and it also comes with this waist belt that you can just tie at the front to cinch in your waist or at the back if you want your front to be open but you still want the cinched in waistline, it's great to tie at the back. This one is a size extra small and I just think it's just very classic. It reminds me of Burberry but make it gray kind of like a monochrome Burberry. And it's very, very soft and very comfortable to be in. I'm just switching up the pants on the next outfit. So these pants, oh my God. You guys need to drop whatever you're doing and grab these pants right now. I don't care if you leave my video in the middle and just like go to Shein and buy these pair of pants because you need this. It's got like micro plaid patterns. It's such, such a thick material. It is so sturdy. This actually is more than just a pair of leggings. These are like legit pants and they have an elastic waist here, which is awesome. And they also have pockets here and you can put a belt over it or you can just wear it on its own and the bottom here is very very tapered it just comes down to your ankle and it's just very very flattering on all body types i think everyone should grab a pair of this you can even wear leggings or tights under if you want the extra warmth but this is definitely worth the value for your money so get this and i'm topping off the outfit with this coat i call it the santa claus coat because when you wear, I don't know why, it just reminds me of Santa Claus so much. Maybe it's the pocket trim. Like it's supposed to be like a faux shirling kind of trim coat, but it's actually really, really warm on the inside because the entire thing is just like a teddy material. It's a dark, dark camel color and the exterior is a faux suede material lined with this faux shirling teddy trim. And overall, it's just like a really, really comfy coat to be in. And it's not that short either. Like it comes down to about my knee areas. And if you're a little bit shorter than 5'7", it can cover all the way down too. And just to throw on a pop of color, I'm throwing on this plaid scarf onto there. It's not exactly a blanket scarf because it's not square. It's kind of like a rectangular blanket scarf, but it is so warm. I just feel like it's so festive with all the red and the green and the yellows. You guys all know my obsession with plaid scarves. You can wear them in so many different ways and it's always a good accessory to brighten or pop your outfit. And it keeps you so warm. This dark blue parka, oh my God, is 
amazing it is so so well made like the interior is like quilted with this kind of like teddy material and it has a fur hood okay the fur trim is not removable so you're stuck with the fur trim it has like gold buttons and like gold zippers all the way throughout and i really really like how you can cinch in your waist with one of these drawstrings here the bottom has drawstrings too and overall it's just a very very warm winter jacket but if you're not a fan of having random words on your clothing then you might not like this one as much because on the side here it says san fran 501 and on the front here, there's also another patch of text that says Dent Mundungri, California American J fans If this really bothers you, I would say just get it and just have it removed or like get it taken out somehow But I mean like no one can really read this unless they like stick their face up in your parka Yeah, it's really up to you But in terms of the style and the quality and the warmth of this jacket, I definitely recommend it These jeans are high-waisted light blue color skinny jeans and they fit me like a dream and keeps you so warm in the winter and goes with so many outfits and there's a little bit of stretch to them which I really appreciate another blanket scarf this one is kind of like a camel colored blanket scarf that I think goes perfectly with my ears so this skirt is actually living proof that you should be watching my entire haul and listening to what I'm saying about each item as opposed to just like buying blindly what I list in the description box because this is terrible terrible it is so 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 bad first i really really like the design of this but that's about it so this is a size small and that's the smallest size available on the side they don't have an extra small for the skirt but it's so big on me like it's just way way too big i don't think this should be a small i think it should definitely be more like a medium so if i were you I would size down maybe two times or even just don't get this item because there's so much so much more better quality items on Shein so the next outfit I'm just wearing a pretty basic oatmeal top on top and then the same pair of blue jeans that I showed you guys earlier and I'm just pairing it with this outerwear so this is an extra small it's supposed to be like a camel plaid kind of coat um, it's not really a coat I would say it's more like a duster coat if anything because it is really really thin no lining on the inside Side, but I do really like the design and the color of this so I would only suggest this for people who are living in places that are maybe 15 to 20 degrees or so I gotta talk about these boots because they're so awesome this is one of the few times that I actually got footwear from Shein and I'm so pleasantly surprised this is supposed to be a short boot that hits you right under your knee so it's a perfect way to spice up your outfit if you're wearing basics I got in this size 39 and I'm normally a 7.5 to a 8 US and this fits me perfectly So you might want to size up or like really look into European sizes for this So this next outfit is perfect for you girls who want to be wearing skirts, but don't want to wear super short skirts This is a maxi skirt. I actually really like this It comes with a belt buckle and the material is like kind of like a faux leather material so it definitely Keeps you warm and underneath here. I'm wearing my thick thick fleece leggings and my OTK so it's like triple the one so if you're wearing this you can literally layer on like all your really warm fleece leggings under and you're not gonna be cold my only only complaint about this one is that yes I got in the size extra small and take a wild guess it is slightly too big on me I don't know what to do about that issue actually like the only solution that makes sense to me would be to get it in the size extra extra small which Shein doesn't produce right now so the only other solution would be to take my skirts in extra small and just like alter it to fit my waist I went full out Christmas mode for my last outfit because I figured if you're going to be buying things on Black Friday you might as well buy some holiday wear and this is the perfect skirt to wear during the holidays because for you pleated skirt lovers out there, I got this in red and it's pleated plaid skirt with these kind of like belt buckle things on the side here and I think it really adds that something extra to the skirt this skirt is the only skirt out of the entire haul that fits my waist I think it's just a great skirt if you're going to like a Christmas party or like something fun where you can like show a little bit of color and to top it off, you know I got a feature red coat, right? because it's Christmas! I don't think it gets more Christmassy than this red plaid coat. It is so festive. Like it's a bright red color and then you have your plaids of greens and yellows and I just think it's perfect for all your monochrome outfits. This one I'm wearing a size small and it fits me really well. You would definitely need to layer up under this coat if you're going to be outside in the snow or whatever for a long period of time. And the only thing I don't like about this is the pockets. Like this has like a fake pocket kind of like luring you in thinking it has pockets but it doesn't have 
pockets. Like I was so confused. Like why have the slit of a pocket if you don't actually have a pocket? Did I mention there's no pockets? Okay guys, that's it for this haul. I hope you guys found something that you like for Black Friday and happy shopping! Bye!